Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to show off uh, some thrifting finds I've picked up over the last uh, about a week. Not quite a week, but a few days. Uh, just in different areas, not in all in one, one area because I don't really have a lot going on in this area. So uh, I'll just dive right on in. I'm going to start with VHS first. I got two VHS tapes. Uh, this one I might actually sell because it's still factory sealed. I do have this on Blu-ray in my collection. Uh, but I don't think the special feature is on the is on that uh, Blu-ray though. This is the Walt Disney Pictures Presents Honey I Shrunk the Kids, featuring the um, infamous Roger Rabbit cartoon, uh, Tummy Trouble. So I thought that was cool. It is still sealed. I'm not sure where this the person that had it previously bought it from I don't I don't recognize that tag but I did not pay $15 for it but uh pay like I think it was like two bucks because it was factory sealed so honey I shrunk the kids really good movie uh fun fact if you guys didn't know it was written by Stuart Gordon and Brian Usna and Ed Naha very interesting that uh two uh horror heads wrote this Wrote, wrote this movie very strange and then the last one is an mgm midnight movies uh release uh comedy of terrors i have this on blu-ray as well so i thought that was a cool find for 99 cents with uh you know vincent price boris karloff and uh peter Lorre. so really cool find there Basil Rathbone's also in this. I do enjoy him as well. All right, DVD-wise, I have um, one DVD and then two um, two two seasons sets, I believe. Uh, found this yesterday at my local thrift store here. Uh, this is a Indican uh, pictures release from um, what year is this from? Twenty twelve. Uh, Six Dead Souls. They had a couple other different horror films. Unfortunately, the discs were either scratched or cracked. So I did not want to... I wanted to pass up on all of those. So we just have this one. I have never seen this, nor I've never heard of it. And I didn't recognize any of the cast either. So if you guys have seen Six Dead Souls, please let me know in the comments. I had to change the case too, because it was an old rental case. So it was kind of gross. So just the just the disc inside. Uh, this was a cool find. I got this when I got when I bought this. I found this as well, and these are both fifty cents each. So I couldn't pass this up. This is a f three disc set or a four disc set. I don't know. They're all in there and they're in good condition, with the actual sleeve itself, and that is the uh, Yogi Bear complete series. DVD with the, with the nice slip cover, slip case. Uh, I just want to check here. Yeah, four discs set. Uh, this one, this one and two actually have artwork, and then the other two are flipper discs. So there we are. Pretty cool find for 50 cents. Cannot beat that. If you guys are fans of Yogi Bear, please let me know in the comments below. I do have the movie as well. I've shown that in a previous video. Uh, this one here is, I guess, kind of, kind of an upgrade for me. I do have it already, but I didn't have the outer case. And then the ones I did have were in, like, video rental cases. So I can get rid of that and switch out with this. I didn't even look and see if these discs were in good shape or not. That's fine, because the ones I have are good shape. So if they're not, I can just switch them out. This is the American Dad Volume 1 set. Would go well with my other uh, multiple sets from American Dad that I have. If you guys like American Dad, let me know in the comments. I do enjoy that show quite a bit. Uh, who's your favorite character? Mine is probably Roger and then Steve. I do like Haley too, but Stan's, Stan is Stan. Francine is, you know, Francine. Um, and the rest here are all Blu-rays. So I have quite the stack here. Um, 
found this at Salvation Army for um, 99 cents, so I picked up the jumper. Didn't have it in the collection. It is a Blu-ray uh, DVD combo with the old um, digital code that probably doesn't work anymore. So as you can see, the DVD is also the digital copy. I, I, I used to hate when they did that, but it is what it is. Um, I found all three of these. These were all former rentals. They were in the Blockbuster DVD Blu-ray cases. So I went ahead and switched them out. So we have uh, X-Men 1 double disc set, uh, X2 double disc set, and then X3 last stand. Not my favorite in the series, but they had all three together. So I figured I'd pick it up anyway. This is a single disc release though. So if you guys enjoy the X-Men film, the original three X-Men films, let me know in the comments below. I saw all these in the theater when they came out back in the day. Uh, next one here is a film that came out what, within the last year or two. Yeah, 2021. Um, didn't pick it up then, I'm glad I didn't because I got it for $4 instead of like 20 when it came out. Uh, this is a Walgo USA release. This is Escape from Mogadishu. Uh, never seen it, but it's it's based on actual events that took place in Korea. Yeah. Yeah, and it took place in Korea in 1991. So I figured I'd pick it up and give it a watch. Heard nothing but good reviews on that one. Um, I'll save the Goodwill pickups for last. I think those are the best ones in this stack. Uh, I got this at an indoor flea market today. Paid $7 for it, but I know it usually goes for quite a bit more. Um, I plan I'm going to keep it for myself. I either, I'm probably going to end up gifting it to a family, family member for Christmas. Because they're a big Doctor Who fan. This is the complete 11th season of our series of Doctor Who. This is with... Uh, Jodie Whittaker, uh, who played the 13th Doctor. So, uh, I think it's a three-disc set, I believe. Yeah, three-disc set here. They're all in good condition. So I thought $7 was a good deal to, to gift somebody. And then the Goodwill today... I, went, I, went, I saw in the case they had quite a few Blu-rays, and then I found two that I actually wanted. Went back to where the DVDs are, didn't really see anything. They had quite a few factory sealed DVDs, but nothing I needed. So I went ahead and picked up these two. First one here is a, uh, I think they're really both. No, yeah, kind of, sort of. They're both Disney. This is a 20th Century Fox release of a Paul Newman film from 1982. That is the verdict. Got it for two ninety nine. Thought that was a cool deal. No, no insert there. Just, just the movie. And then you have a couple featurettes on here about Paul Newman himself, and then uh, a featurette on the film. Uh, Sidney Lumet, the craft of directing. Audio commentary with. Uh, Sydney Lumet and Paul Newman, and then there's two additional featurettes. So it doesn't say what they are though. So I thought that was a cool find. And then this one was really cool. This is still brand new factory sealed. A touchstone, obviously Disney release. Um, there are no special features on this particular release though, but it's still wanted to see the movie anyway. And that is the 25th anniversary edition of the Martin Scorsese film. Uh, the Color of Money, again, $3 for a brand new factory steel Blu-ray, so I thought that was a good deal. Uh, obviously, you have Paul Newman in here with Tom Cruise, uh, Mary Elizabeth, uh, hold on, Master, Anto Master Antonio, uh, Helen Shaver as well, so pretty cool. So... That's everything that I've picked up at thrift stores and indoor flea markets over the last mm, less than a week, maybe like five, four or five days. So let me know if you've seen any of these and what you thought of them. And uh, yeah, pretty cool uh, VHS tapes as well. So 
you guys take care and I will see you guys uh, in a few days if you ever watch my uh, Christmas horror uh, recommendations and also ones to steer stay clear of uh, there's two previous videos check those out I have an, I'm working on another one right now but I gotta watch a couple because I haven't seen them yet I just got finished with watching one of them uh, like 15 minutes ago so take care see you guys later bye